Hi, this is Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, and today we're going to talk about reactivating your open coil springs. And this is one of the greatest hacks, which is a crimpable stop. You can see that right here. You can see there's an open coil spring right here. Okay. And let's say I wanted to reactivate it. And by the way, this tie on number eight should most likely go over the whole bracket. So forgive me, but you are going to reactivate it in a place, say right here. So you can see where I just slid this over, this is where you're gonna put your crimpable stop, right there. So another way you could do it would be to just totally untie it and put a bigger piece of open coil spring in. Now keep in mind, I'm just a little aside, I'm not gonna use open coil springs on a light night tie like this. There's no way I'm gonna do this. The lightest tooth I'm gonna use an open coil spring is gonna be, or the lightest wire is gonna be maybe a 1725 night tie. I prefer 1825 night tie. The more I can fill the slot, the better, right? So this is just an example here on a type it on, just so you can understand the point of the crimple stop. But crimple stops are a fantastic hack. Keep in mind, they don't always stay on. So um, if you don't wanna completely untie the patient or take the wire out, I just slide it, put it on and squeeze it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this today. Um, you can order these. Now keep in mind, they come in a variety of different gauges. So you gotta think about how you're gonna be using it, what type of wires you're gonna use. These are teeny tiny, see how small they are? Um, I need like, glasses basically to see this okay so i'm going to flip it over and you know this is not going to hurt the patient if it goes down their throat by accident but you know we don't want to do that either so okay this would help i'm left-handed so let's act like the patient is in the chair you're going to slide it okay usually i mean i use nails because i have nails but as a great sliding mechanism but you can also use a um like a uh what do you call them one of those forks see how i got that on there there it's just it's just resting on the wire so and then you're going to go ahead i use a ligature director to do this and to just crimp it to squeeze it 